I'm just afraid that this shadow might... Guys, did any of you notice this? Knowing Jeffrey and knowing his attention to details, I can't believe that this slipped. Hey friends, it's Anya and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Yes, I have it. Guys, I am super, super excited for today's video. I can't stress enough how excited I am. Oh my god. So as you guys already know, I will be reviewing Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star collaboration. Plus, I'm doing big giveaway at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. So without any further ado, let's just jump into the video. I think it's only fair to start this video by saying that Shane Dawson is my favorite YouTuber, influencer, person on YouTube in the world. And then probably Jeffree Star and everyone else. But Shane Dawson is someone that I truly love, love watching. And he inspires me in so many different ways that I don't think he's aware that he has such a big influence on people. And personally, when I grow up one day, I want to be Shane Dawson. Uh, just kidding, but I truly truly love him and when I heard that this whole series and whole collection with Jeffree Star is coming out and that he is going into makeup industry, I was extremely happy. He actually started learning and started experimenting and playing with makeup and getting into that so he understands better what he's getting into. And I love that. That was really cool to see that he actually put his heart and soul into this whole collection. Now, I'm not on PR list, so I didn't receive this. I purchased it myself. And despite all the love that I have for Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star, I will still give you my most honest review. And if something isn't the best, then I will just say it whether you like it or not. I'm so sorry. And I'm sure you already know from my previous video where I reviewed Tati Beauty and I love her too. But I did find a few things that weren't the best. But is palette terrible? Absolutely not. Was I honest? Yes. Do I have right for my own opinion? Yes. So if you guys don't want to hear my honest opinion about this collection, then just click off, don't watch it, or skip till my giveaway rules. That's about it. I went today to Morphe's store and store opened at 10. However, I got there 9.20 just because I wanted to be one of the first ones so I get the chance to buy it because I had a feeling this will sell out so quickly that I didn't want to risk that. And little did I know, at 9.20 a.m. this morning, there was already a huge line in front of the Morphe store. I would say roughly. I really don't know exact numbers, but I can easily say that there were more than 600 people in front of me, if not even more. People were there since 6, 7 a.m. in the morning, waiting for store to open. I was so stressed. There's one more thing that Shane and me have in common. Anxiety. And at that very moment when I realized that there is tons of people in front of me waiting, I seriously got a small anxiety attack just because I couldn't see myself going home without it. But luckily everything turned out good so I got a chance to buy mini controversy and conspiracy palette. But not just that, I also got another one for you guys. So as I said, just stay tuned or skip till that part. Do whatever you want to do. I feel like I forgot to say that I waited for four hours before I got into the Morphe store, which is a lot. That was probably experience of the year. I never experienced something like that. Now let's talk about collection. By the time I got to the store, pretty much everything was sold out except palettes. So I didn't have a chance to buy anything else. So the only two things, actually four, the only four things I got was two conspiracy palettes and two mini controversy palettes. Now let's talk about them. I 
absolutely love how it looks like. This TV static idea is brilliant and this hollow thing going on, it's amazing. I really, really love it. Now, colors, you probably already seen them and they're stunning. I love this reddish my apology i love controversy i love cancelled i love my boyfriend's purse this one is a gorgeous color oh i didn't swatch them should i swatch them i don't know pink's not my vibe but wait what it's nothing bad but i just want to show you something don't get angry at me but this feels like i hope it's gonna zoom Bouncing. You see, now it's in. Okay, did you guys see that? Or <laughs> I hope this time camera was focused because I usually have troubles when I say like, "Oh, can you see that?" and then it doesn't show up because this didn't focus. So, anyways, I hope you guys saw that. I'm assuming someone, whoever was putting it down, it's bouncing. I really hate to destroy eyeshadow that way, but I just wanted to show you guys. Am I gonna live with that eyeshadow being bouncy like that? Yes, of course. The only thing is that I'm afraid it's gonna fall off. That's the only thing that I'm afraid of. Other than that, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me, honestly. So, moving on to the big conspiracy palette. Every time I use word conspiracy, it reminds me of Shane. I don't know why. This is stunning. First when I saw it in person, I honestly thought that this little thing over here is a mistake. I know, I'm sorry, it's not a mistake. It is little Jeffree Star sign. I absolutely love, love, love how this palette looks like. And these palettes are my favorite. When I say these, I mean these. This used to be by far my favorite palette design. This is just gorgeous. But when they came up with this design, I was extremely happy, especially after seeing that first designs that they had going on. I was like, please, please, please don't do that because I would be just disappointed. But this is some serious stuff. So I really, really like that. I love black color and the fact that these spiraling thing, the details, I don't know if you can even tell, yeah you can, it's absolutely gorgeous. Wait, what? Guys, did any of you notice this? I feel like it's just a mistake, but then on the other side, knowing Jeffrey and knowing his attention to details, I can't believe that this slipped. I truly can't believe it. Now I want to open the other one that I have, but I don't want to just because it's not on mine but so this is how they came I don't know if you can see any difference or spot difference on those two palettes but look in mirror over here on mini controversy it's already dirty just because there was never any protection ever not on the palette not on the mirror which is weird because this one on the other side has it see how can I show it to you guys? Why am I so clumsy? There's protection. And on the other palette, there is no protection. See? Protection. No protection. So I don't understand why did they do that. I, I don't understand what's the difference between this and that palette. Why do you care more about this one rather than... You know what I mean? I don't get it. I don't know why they do that. Anyways, oh my gosh, I feel like, again, I'm gonna have a lot of hate comments just because I do this and that, but it truly, I just notice stuff. So about the palette and about the eyeshadows, I think that they're gorgeous. Oh, I didn't notice. Food videos actually have some glitters in it. Or it's still from Tati Beauty. I don't know, maybe, because I still have some glitters on my face. 
because the glitters are everywhere and now all my brushes have glitter on it and that's why my face also have glitter on it there's multiple over here over here over here but we're not gonna talk about it other thing that I didn't mention is that I love names for these eyeshadows they're perfect anyways let's just dive in into my unprotected eyeshadow palette I still don't know what look I'm going for but we'll figure it out one thing I learned from Tati Beauty Review and you probably guys already know don't ever trust a new palette if you don't know how it performs don't play around so this time I made sure to apply a powder underneath before I play with a new palette did I apply too much? Maybe, but I just don't want to risk it again. I want to start with something very simple and a lot of kick up. I hope it's going to show up, but if it doesn't, don't worry. Is that something that you should worry about? Absolutely not. I'm just putting it out there. I'm using Tanacon. This is beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous transition color. You guys already know my story. I get overwhelmed with new palettes just because I don't know what to do, honestly. I want to try all the colors for you, but then again, I don't have enough eyes for that. Let's go into Diet Root Beer, which is a little bit darker. And focus on the actual crease. A little more than the previous one. That's gorgeous. I like dyed root beer. Wait, not the drink, but I like this shade. That blended out seamlessly. Now, what are we gonna do next? Okay, so I'm going in right now with a shade called Not a Fact. Gorgeous, stunning purple red color what I appreciate the most in both of those palettes is that you absolutely have neutrals that you can create pretty much every day look like I can go out like this just with mascara maybe something on the lower lash line and that's about it or you can go as wild as this or yellow neon yellow red controversy which is like purple Cancelled which is like extremely blue so you can play around and do pretty much a lot of different looks Which is pretty cool. I want to go into this shade called my apology. See that's weird because this one doesn't have that much kick up Okay, so I'm going with this shade over my eyelid. It's a beautiful color beautiful Guys, I don't know what kind of look I'm trying to create, but I'm definitely onto something. Or am I? Who knows? I didn't even need to blend those two together. They blend themselves, so that's great. I want to go into Controversy from Mini Palette. I want to add oops, a little bit in here. You know what? I'm gonna add the same controversy in my outer edge. I'm using Exposed just to soften the edges. I'm going into Pigment. I want to soften those edges here. That's so pretty. Okay, I have to do it. I just have to go into this Trisha. see what's happening on my eyelid like everything for highlighting my brow bone I feel like I'm gonna go into two shades mixing ranch from conspiracy palette and my boyfriend's purse from mini controversy oh my gosh this is just a theory it's gorgeous love it to deepen up my upper lid before I go into lower lash line I'm using my rides here to create a line on my that's some serious fallout can you see it 
This is really, really pigmented black, so just be careful. And when I say just be careful, I mean don't wear white clothes when you're trying or applying this eyeshadow. Seriously. So I'm just gonna line my lower lash line with this black eyeshadow, which is my right is here. I'm using shade Cancelled. It is very pretty blue. I love this blue. Okay, before I go and finish my look off camera, I just want to show you guys how much fallout I have on my face. So this is my final look. I hope you guys like it. I really, really enjoyed this look. It is pink and blue, which are my two least favorite colors to put on my eyelids, but I kind of enjoy it. It's fun. It's new. It's different for me. Personally, if we're just looking at design, I love it. Love it. So I don't know if anyone can top this design. I mean, mini controversy is pretty good too, but this is another level, honestly, in my opinion. Now, another thing that I really, really like about this palette is that you get everything from neutrals to wild out there colors to some shimmers. You can create a classic smoky eye, you can create day look, you can create some summery look. I don't know, whatever you want. And it's the same with Minute Controversy, although you're a little bit limited with other colors, but you can play with purples, blues, and this reddish. All the rest are pretty neutral. One thing that I already mentioned is that this palette has a lot of fallout and a lot of cake up. Fallout was all over my face not just my cheekbones but it was all over my upper lid it was on my nose around my nose it was everywhere so i really had to go again with my foundation brush and add a little bit of foundation to clean it up my under eye area was really easy to clean up just because i had powder on but everything around that i didn't expect it to be attacked by eyeshadow was pretty hard to erase so my suggestion is just start with the eyes. I don't know. This is the easiest way to prevent any disaster. Now, about kick up, let's try this. I love doing this, but I never know if it shows up or not. I actually think it worked, but what's the worst part is that it went onto my lenses. So, I hope I didn't destroy camera. Anyways, that's that. Now, let's talk about giveaway. In this giveaway, I will be picking one winner and that winner will get both palettes, Mini Controversy and Conspiracy. Rules of giveaway are very, very simple. First is to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. Second is to like this video, even though you don't like it. It's okay, just like it. And third is to comment down below who is your favorite, Shane or Jeffrey. And also, just don't forget to leave in the comment section down below how can I find you or where can I find you if you win this giveaway. And that is it. Three simple steps. Subscribe, like, and comment. And you might be the lucky winner of these two beauties. The winner of this giveaway will be announced on November 11th here on YouTube. And also, I will announce it on my Instagram story. So you can go and follow me there too so you don't miss it out. That is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified every single time I upload. Have an amazing rest of the day and see you in the next one. Bye!